Good evening. Tonight we're going to start with Module 3, Lesson 18. I can find whole number quotients and remainders. Now, with this lesson, you can still continue to use the place value chart to help you figure out the answer. So this one's 83 divided by 3. And you can still continue to use the place value chart to help you answer this division problem. So if we wanted to take apart the 8, that's not that's an 80, so we would put 8 tens, and then we would have 3 ones. And this is what we're dividing by, so we would break this up into 3 groups. So if you wanted to still do that way, that's okay. You can still do it, like we have done in the previous lessons. Um, but we're going to continue, and we're going to do the standard algorithm the way that uh, I, what I grew up with and your parents grew up with. So let's get started. So the first problem we're going to explore tonight is 84 divided by 4. Now this is a very common mistake when we see with division. When we put, this is one sign that we're going to be dividing, but then this is another sign of division. And that's like our division house. And what we put, we put this number inside and this number we put on the outside. So we never read this problem, this one right here, 4 divided by 84. That would be very much incorrect. How we would read this is read it the opposite direction, 84 divided by 4. Just the way like this one looks, 84 divided by 4. So we never say 4 divided by 84. We always read this one backwards, 84 84 divided by 4. So before we start division, I want you to um, look at this over here. This is what I call the division family. These are steps to help us remember what to do when we're doing division, when we're doing kind of like a long division. And we start with dad, mother, sister, brother, sometimes rover. Rover is sometimes the family dog. And the D is going to represent division. That's when we're going to divide. The M means multiplication. The sister, the S, stands for subtraction. And the B brings means to bring down the next number. And sometimes you're going to notice that you're going to have to repeat these steps before you get to see if this family has a dog. And once you have nothing else to bring down, then you're going to see if there's a remainder. So the R for the family dog Rover re represents remainder. So this is the steps that we're going to follow. First we're going to divide, then we're going to multiply, and then we are going to subtract and then bring down. But we might have to repeat the steps all over again because we might have to bring down again. So again, after we bring down, we might have to go back to division, then we multiply, then we subtract, then we bring down, and if there's no other numbers to bring down, then we might have a remainder. They might have a family dog in this division family. All right, so let's get started here. 84 divided by 4. So let's set it up with the division house. 4 and then the division house, and then we have 84 inside. To get started, we need to see that this four, we're, we're making basically four equal groups, and we're taking this 80 here, excuse me, we're taking this 80 here, and we're splitting it up into four equal groups. That goes back to that place value chart, and we're gonna split it up into four equal groups. So we're going to divide and 4 goes into 80, those eight, four equal groups. How many can 8 be split up amongst those four equal groups? And it can go into twice. So now we used, we used dad, we used divide, and now we're going to go to mother. Mother tells us to multiply. So 2 times 4 is 8. Now, we go to the next step, and it's sister, and she tells us to subtract. We subtract our tens, 
and we are left with zero tens. And now our brother is telling us that we need to bring down the next number. And that means that we are left with four ones. So then the process starts all over again. Remember I said, after you bring down, you might not get to see if they have a family dog. You might not get to see if they have that remainder. So you're going to have to start the process all over again and go back to dad. And dad tells us to divide. So now we have a new number. So now we need to take, we need to take those four, we're going to take, break it up into four equal groups. We have four ones. So how many of those four ones are going to be split up into each group? They're going to go into once. Now what we have to do is we we're going to go back. We already used dad. Dad told us to divide and we got a one. So there's one in each of those four groups. Mom tells us to multiply. So we do one times four is four. But then we go to the next step, which is our sister. Our sister tells us to subtract. So four ones take away four ones is zero ones. So is there any other numbers? Because brother tells us to bring down. Is there any other numbers to bring down? No. So we immediately see that this family doesn't have a dog. There is no remainder, no rover. So the answer is just 21. But now we have to check. And the inverse opera operation of division is multiplication. So we must take this number, this number, and multiply it with our answer to see if we get the number that's inside this division house. So let's take these two numbers and see if we get this answer. So we do 21, that's our answer, times 4, the number we're dividing by, and we do 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. And look, we have that same answer. So we did this, most likely we did it correct. So we have a check. Boys and girls, in this lesson, and when we get to our questions, we should not be getting anything wrong because the very important part of this lesson is to make sure that we check using the inverse operation of multiplication. All right, our next problem is 91 divided by 4, and we're going to use the division family to help us with the steps right over here. Remember, brother tells us to bring down. So after, after we bring down, we might have to stop, go, go do all the steps all over going, again and go back to division. All right, let's set this problem with the division house. Remember, this is how we read this, 91 divided by 4. But if we use the division house, we're going to be reading that backwards. So how does that look? Well, it looks like this. 91, excuse me. 91 is inside the house. There's our division. And we have 4 outside the house. And now we're going to start with the tens. And there's a 9 in the tens place. And the number that we're dividing by is a 4. And this 4 is telling us that we're making 4 equal groups. And we have to take that 90 and spread it between those 4 equal groups. Divide them up equally. So how many are going to go into each group? Well, so 4 can go close as we can get to 9 would be a 2. So now we were able to do, we used dad. Dad told us to divide, so that was our first step. Now we're going to go to mom, and she tells us to multiply. So 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So we are able to split up that 90, that 9, into four equal groups, and we have two in each group. So we, two times four is eight. Now, sister tells us to subtract. So we need to subtract nine and eight, and we get one. So we have one ten left over. Now we go back 
And now the B, whose brother, tells us that we need to bring down this one. So we're going to bring down this one, and we are now left with 11. And since we brought it down, we had to restart all over again and go back to Dad. And Dad tells us to divide. So 11 divided by 4. Remember, we have to read it backwards. 11 divided by 4 is how much. We have to take this 11 and split it into four equal groups. So how many is going to go into each group? We are going to have two, two in each group. Now that we used dad to divide, now we have to go to the next step, multiply. So we need to take this two, we already used that two, we have to take this two, two times four, and that gives us eight. So we multiplied, now we need to subtract. The sister tells us to subtract, we need to subtract 11 minus eight, and we are left with three. The next step is bring down. But if you notice, there's no other numbers to bring down. So that means that we're gonna go right over to our dog, Rover, and he tells us that this division family does have a dog. <laughs> which is our remainder of three. So it's 22 remainder three. So now guys, we have to check. And we should not be getting anything wrong because we're checking. And how we check is we do the inverse operation of division and it's multiplication. So we need to take this number right here and multiply it with this number. So 22 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 88, but wait, I look inside this box and I see a 91, and that's what I don't have here, so it tells me that we have got to not, we, we have a remainder in this problem, we must include this remainder. And how we include remainders is that we add it on to the product that we got. So 88 plus 3, 8 plus 3 is 11, carry the 1, 8 plus 1 is 9. So we have an answer of 90, 91, and it's the same answer we have inside of our division house. So it's 91. We got this right. Check. Okay, our next problem is 87 divided by 6, and we're going to use our division family steps to help us solve this problem. And we want to make sure we use our division house to help us set with up this long division problem. So 6 is going outside. 87 is going inside the house. Now remember how we read this is 87, 87 divided by 6. Okay, we read it opposite. 87 divided by 6, not 6 divided by 87. That's a common error of students. that They read it this way. But we have to read this division problem just the way this one is. 87 divided by 6, and we read it like this when it's in the division house. 87 divided by 6. Be very careful of that. All right, so we're going to go to our, our steps here, and it tells Dad tells us that we're going to divide. So we have an 80 here. And this 80 is going to be split up into six equal groups because that's the number that we're dividing by. So six times what gets us close to eight? And we've got a one. Okay, so one is going to be in each group of those six. So then now, because we divided, we now need to multiply. So one times six is six. Now that we've multiplied, mom told us to multiply, we're going to go to sister, and sister tells us to subtract 8 and 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So we have two tens left over. After sister, the brother tells us, come on, we need to bring down. So we're going to bring down the 7. After we bring down, we still have to go back to divide, because look, there's still an empty number up here that we need to fill. 
over that seven. So we go back to dad and dad tells us to divide. And we're dividing 27 by six. This is telling us that we're taking 27 and we're splitting it up among the six equal groups. So six times what gives us closer to 27 and that is a four. So now we need to go to mom and mom tells us to multiply. So we take the four and we're gonna multiply it with the six. We already used the one, so you cannot use that again. We, we just brought this one up, so this is the one that we're gonna be multiplying by. So four times six is 24. Okay. Since we multiplied, now we go to sister. Sister tells us to subtract. 27 minus 24 is 3. So now we brought down, excuse me, we subtracted. And if we look, there's no other numbers here to bring down. So in that case, we go to Rover, the dog, and they're do they do have a dog in this division family. They have a remainder. The remainder is three. So it's 14 remainder three. All right, so now we have to check. And how do we check? We check by using the inverse operation of division. And the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So we take our number right here, 14, and we multiply it with six. 14 times six. Six times four is 24, but four ones carry the two tens. One times six is six, plus two is eight. But again, notice that there's an 87, and I got an 84. What do we must do? Well, this one, this problem had a remainder, so we need to add on our remainder. So 84 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Bring down your 8. So we have product of 87. Excuse me, an answer of 87, because this is our product here, and then we just added the remainder. So 87's inside the house, and we were able to check, and we got this right. Good job. All right, as always, try your best. First one, 84 divided by 2. And be sure that you check your answer. Everyone should be able to get 100 tonight because we're checking. Follow the steps. Dad, mother, sister, brother, sometimes rover. If you need to, go back into the video and look at some of the examples we used tonight. 79 divided by 5. Make sure you check use the steps to help you. All right, our last one is 94 divided by eight. Please make sure that you are checking your answer and use those division steps to help you. Like I always say, mistakes equal learning. So I'm not looking for perfect. I know we're gonna make lots of mistakes, but, and that's the best thing because we are learning from our mistakes. Have a wonderful night, guys.